Welcome back, everybody. All right, so there's a couple things that we can actually do here, and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, and I'm um, just going to go ahead and get rid of that here. Okay, so everything still works. I can type in anything that I want here, and everything still works. It's actually quite a bit, of, quite awesome here. Now, you can actually call functions uh, within functions. Now, this is really important because you don't want, I mean, imagine if you had like a really complicated program that was several pages. You wouldn't want all of that in one function. You'd want to change it up. And there's, there's several ways you can do this. You can actually put another function after the function, or sometimes you can actually call a function in a different file. It's up to you. And, um, but one thing we could do is let's just go ahead and make another function. And we'll call this function, um, we'll call it function work, okay? We add those two brackets, and of course we need the two curly braces like this. Okay, so now that we have function work here, and for some reason that error has been popping up lately, but you don't need to worry about it, it just means that my work is not going to get saved. Now, watch this here. If I go ahead and I cut this out and I paste it in here, nothing ends up happening. So I type something in here, and it doesn't work, and that makes perfect sense because as of now, when we click this button, we're still calling this function here. Now, one thing we could do is we could change this to work. And if we change it to work again, uh, we can change it and it all works. Okay, F simple enough, but that's not what I want to do. Okay, watch this. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. So we're now calling this function again. If you want to call work, all you have to do is type in the function name and that's it. So what's going to happen is that when it calls this function here, it's going to go to change the text and it's just going to call work here. So if I type in the word fun, it should work. All right. And that's all it is. Now you're probably wondering in this specific example, this is ridiculous, right? But you do need to call functions later. Uh, and especially in programming, it's a fairly important option here. So um, especially in games here, because um, if I just go ahead and if you guys are into game development, um, I can just show you something that's uh, just a kind of a little thing uh, here for games. So there's usually an update method. And what this update method is that it constantly runs on a loop because games always run on a loop, like it's always refreshing. And then you, in here you have, for example, score update, and it calls that function. And then you'll have something like lives update. You'll have that function, uh, player logic, etc. So Usually that's something where, where it would work, specifically in games. Uh, that's, that's where you would use this a lot. And in a lot of games, they do have this, where they have a whole bunch of different uh, options here. And sometimes you can even do, um, you know, for example, player logic, and then it can go to, um, it can go to others. Now, that's a, I could do maybe and talk for an hour on this concept here. But all I wanted to, to show you is that you can call other functions within functions. All right? I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.